All right, guys. Welcome back. On our way home, it is cold. It is foggy. So, we're just trying to take these streets uh, as safely as we can. Try to get home in one piece. In the process, to keep myself entertained. Uh, let's talk about something that... Uh, you know, I call it controversial, but you know, uh, all I mean is that lots of people have different views on it. It's not exactly, I don't mean it as in, oh my god, this is a huge thing happening right now and it's so controversial. No, just, I don't know, everybody's got their little viewpoint. And what we're talking about is the biker wave. If you don't know what that is, where have you been but um you know when you pass another biker on the street it's typically uh customary to give them you know a little wave of some sort whether it's a full-on wave you know just a couple you know two fingers out to the side the peace sign whatever just some sort of acknowledgement that you know to this other two-wheeled motorcyclist that uh to acknowledge their presence and you know hey how are you doing sort of thing and then typically they do it back to you a lot of people have said uh you know if you don't do the the wave then you're not a real biker you know you're not respecting this other person other people have said why should i wave to you i don't know anything about you other than the fact that you're on a motorcycle I'm more inclined to agree with the second one, um, but not to uh, not to any huge extent. I do the biker wave. Uh, I don't know anything about any of these people. I ride alone 99.99% uh, .99 of the time. Um, so, it is what it is. Uh, I enjoy. Um, I don't know the feeling of uh, mediocre camaraderie uh, even though it's just with somebody that I have never met before but it's just like oh you know you're living life on two wheels so am I you know we get it now if somebody does not give me the biker wave I do not feel slighted uh, it, you know, whatever. Either you're a person that doesn't uh, doesn't do the, the wave. Maybe you didn't see me. Maybe you had other things going on. Good for you, buddy. I mean, I, I, I don't care. Uh, there are plenty of times when maybe I'm in the middle of uh, shifting gears or something. I can't, you know, I got my hand on the on the clutch and uh, you know I, I can't give it away maybe I'll give a nod maybe I won't even notice the person there are plenty of factors you know come into play and I have yet to have anybody circle around and say hey man why didn't you give me the wave you faker no uh, it just hasn't happened I don't expect it to happen and uh there have been plenty of people that I've passed that I've given the wave to and I haven't gotten a wave in response at no point have I ever said, you know thought even thought in my head oh fuck you man why couldn't you give me a wave back as a show of respect man it's not that serious it's a uh, it's just a, a quick salute to, to another person that happens to be riding a motorcycle whatever to go along with that there's this so there's this thing about you know Harley riders won't you know wave to other bikers especially if they're on a sports bike I don't know maybe that's true I ride a Harley I wave to everybody uh, with the exception of you know I of people on scooters because <laughs> I'm just too busy giggling at them 
Uh, I, just, I just think those things are hilarious. Um, but if you're on a sports bike, if you're on another type of cruiser that's not a Harley, if you're on an adventure bike, whatever. Hey man, if I notice you and I'm not, you know, busy doing something, I'm going to wave to you. Feel free to wave back. Feel free not to. It's your prerogative. But, uh, you know, I don't have a, I don't have a stick up my ass about that whole thing. And I honestly have never met anybody. And, you know, I, more of the, uh, the cruiser community, especially the Harley community. And I have met more people that ride, you know, sport bikes um, that are more uppity, for the lack of a better word, uh, about, you know, oh, you don't ride sport bikes, or, you know, you don't ride a real bike, you know. Most of the Harley riders that I ride, oh, you ride a bike? What kind? Oh, it's a Yamaha, or it's a Honda, or what? Oh, that's cool, man, you know. I, I've thought about getting on a sports bike, but I never have, or I used to have one, and you know, whatever. In my in my personal experience, Harley riders are more laid back in that respect than most other bikers that I've met. Uh, so I don't know where that comes from, but again. I've lived a lot of places, I've been to a lot of places, and I haven't encountered that, but I haven't been everywhere, you know, so maybe there are plenty of communities where that is the case, where Harley riders are just, you know, got that stick up their ass and they think that they're all high and mighty. I don't know. All I'm saying is, from my personal experience, I have not found that to be the case. So, uh, bottom line it, my thoughts on the, on the biker wave, if you're out here on a bike, I'm going to wave to you. If you want to wave back, much appreciated. If you don't want to wave back, hey man, no big deal. You do you. So let me know uh, your thoughts on the wave and uh, the different communities uh, that you've dealt with on who you think is more uh, preferential or, or prejudiced against other types of bikes, um, sport bikes, cruisers, uh, or even within the cruiser community, you know, there's plenty of people that say, you know, okay, Harley riders are prejudiced against people that ride, you know, non-Harley cruisers, which I still don't find to be the case, but again, that's just my personal experience. I've never witnessed that, but if you have, uh, feel free to put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it, and uh, that'll be all for tonight, or this morning, rather, and uh, we'll have another video coming up here soon, and until then, see you later.